So we've done the gimlet already, and now we have all these delicious uh, other syrups that we're making to play with as well. So we're gonna do a couple of different variations on the gimlet. Our gimlet recipe is uh, a, a gin lover's recipe. So if A, you're, you're not as in love with gin as I am, and I don't understand why you wouldn't be, but just in case, you can either A, use an easier to get along with gin. Uh, Durham Distillery does an American Dry, Hendrix. These are like these easy kind of uh, gateway gins are available now. Uh, and you just ask your uh, local, well, I was gonna say ask the person at the uh, liquor store, but good luck. Uh, come in, give us a call. We'll tell you, we'll, we'll steer you in the right direction. Uh, at any rate, gimlets. So our recipe is a third of an ounce of, of syrup to a third of an ounce of lime to two ounces of gin. So it really does celebrate the gin. So instead of doing a regular gimlet with just a third of an ounce of simple, we figure we'll do a little strawberry, maybe a little watermelon, kind of mix it up for you. Every time I use these, I like to turn them over a couple of times, make sure everything's fully integrated. There is some separation that will occur because we use, this one says strawberries, sugar, and water. And this one is made of watermelon, sugar, and water. So you've, you've cracked the code, the mysterious uh, recipes we use here. So a third of an ounce of strawberry syrup. Third of an ounce of lime. Third of an ounce of lime. And a third of an ounce of watermelon syrup. Better keep these bottles here so I remember they're both kind of nice and pink. A couple ounces of gin. Let's start on this side. An ounce and a half and two ounces. If you're afraid of this much booze in a drink, use a little less. I don't um, have much fear in there we go. I'm going to get a couple of nice coops for this. Okay, so how do you garnish this? I usually like a twist because really celebrate that lime. Um, we're gonna use a little channel knife. I got one of these fun little channel knives I've shown you in previous videos. Just take that around. And lime and strawberry flavors, of course, that, that love each other. There's no reason for us to stand in their way. When you're garnishing, with the, the peel of a fruit, always make sure to use the peel, the, the oil side down. Don't rub the pith side on the, the edge of your drink because the pith is not nice. There you go. And you can either use either a fresh lime wheel or I think it's fun to use one of these dehydrated lime wheels. We like to use that. So we'll put that on the watermelon, which is the um, more subtle flavor. Watermelon gimlet and a strawberry gimlet. Enjoy, happy drinking. <laughs>